Through the help of AI, I've gotten over 50 million players in my Roblox games. To start, we need to find a game idea. Let's go to the Charts tab on the Roblox homepage. I'm going to scroll for a bit and check some of these games out until I find a game that has an interesting niche. For more information on how to find a niche, you can go watch my previous video. I found this game Memory Murder after scrolling for a little bit. This game is very new, has a lot of players in it, and is not very competitive. However, I'm going to put my own twist on it where it's a memory quiz. Now that we have our game idea, we can finally start to prompt the AI. Let's go to ChatGBT. I would recommend playing the 20 bucks a month for plus, but if you can't do that, normal mode is fine. When initially prompting the AI, you should understand what you want before going into it. I quickly whipped up a few lines to get started. Let's break this down. In the first line, I simply gave it an understanding of what I wanted to do. In this case, make a memory quiz Roblox game. In the next line, I gave it more details, showing more about the background of the game and more nitty gritty details of what I wanted to do. Like explaining to the AI the core gameplay loop, where a UI of a predetermined pattern grid flashes on screen for a brief moment before disappearing and the player has to recreate that in a certain amount of time. In the third line, you can expand upon what you said in the second line by just giving more details about what the game mechanics are. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to ask the AI where to begin. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so the AI gave us a couple different options where we could start. It also recommends us to begin with the UI structure and the script, so let's just do that. I'm also going to open up Roblox Studio to get us started. Heading back to the AI, it gave us a lot of valuable information such as the UI structure, the script, and how it works. I'm going to create the UI and add the script, and I'll be right back. If you run into any errors, you can simply copy the error message and put that right into the AI. It should help to troubleshoot and it pretty much understands most of what the error messages are. You may have to give it some extra details for it to completely understand though. Okay, so I've made the base game in Roblox. However, there are a few crucial issues that we have to troubleshoot with the AI. Let's go over how to troubleshoot using AI. Firstly, again, let the AI know what you're doing. In a short but detailed response, let them know exactly what you want and what the issue is. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The AI always responds to any questions you have. And there are never any dumb questions. The AI's sole purpose is to help you out. Also, one added perk of AI code is that it's super customizable and very easy to follow. There are always comments on every line and it's very easy to understand if you are new to coding. After a little more troubleshooting, we finally have a working game. It's literally that easy. The only question is now, why aren't you doing this? 